G'day guys, Morsey here. Um, just a quick demonstration of just something I've been playing around with uh, with command blocks. Um, recently I've been building a bit of a map and on some of the buildings it was uh, a bit tedious to put uh, detailing on the walls. So for example if I'm making a big wall out of uh, stone and I wanted to give it detail I would be putting in you know some of these uh, different types of stone into the wall to give it a bit more detail and uh, I thought I'd just try and make a little uh, command block contraption to do it for me and so that's what I've done. Um, let's take a quick look here um, so I've just got a fill clock running and this just works with one block at the moment uh, you can make an array so that it does a larger area but uh, I just went with one block for the moment so what you would do is you would make your wall all out of the same material um, for this example it's going to be smooth stone uh, then on this little block here you might put uh, cracked stone and when you go up to it uh, it will replace every so often a couple of blocks into the block of your choice uh, and so it'll just be a little bit of random random detailing that you can just sort of play around with uh, and if you've had enough of that you can change the block out to say cobble and we can put in some random bits of cobble as well just a bit more detailing like that and then maybe uh, the last time uh, we put some sponge because every good wall needs some sponge and we'll just put a few bits of sponge in it and a bit there, a bit there so that's the sort of idea um, of course this doesn't look great um, but uh, if you did it um, in maybe a large area you could, you could do big buildings um, very quickly because uh, obviously to detail manually you've got to break that block, place the one you want to place, break that block and uh, this could speed that up quite a bit so um, the idea also sort of works for making paths I know that making paths can be a little bit uh, difficult to get a natural looking path sometimes so what I've got is this bit of grass and when we walk on it it will place some gravel and can do that and just make our own little random path wherever we're walking again it's probably probably fairly quick um, and you could do a larger area if you wanted to uh, be careful of that, that happens sometimes but yeah just uh, a bit of a random random stuff and as we go on back through we can uh, then change that to maybe this andesite um, and this will only replace the, uh, the grass sorry and uh, so you know we can just start sort of filling in bits of the path so this would be handy for map makers um, especially if you expanded it out to do more than just one block at a time um, you could essentially make where it's picking what to what to clone in you could essentially make a bit of a you know a grid um, of different different textures and uh, clone that whole thing in um, to give it a, another look but yeah just uh, a bit of an idea bit of a concept so if you guys like uh, this will be in the description for a download you can have a look and have a play uh, basically all, all it is here is a fill clock um, this is the grass side and it runs into a test 4 that's executed at the player test for one block underneath the player test for grass and if that's true uh, the comparator will fire and it will clone at the player execute at the player and it will execute a clone command um, these coordinates here are for where that blo diamond block is so we know which one to use and it will just go one block beneath the player relative to the player so um, yeah that's 
this diamond block here. So you place whatever block you want to go there, and that will be what it will use like that. So yeah, just a bit of an idea, and hopefully you like it, and the download will be in the description.